What is this? Oh, that's an alien. That's a, someone model my car. Okay. Gabe. Oh, you fucking dip. Not the fucking alien. No. You gotta win, you gotta get points, and then you gotta go to the fucking... Oh, this is your prize? Point. Yeah. You know what's funny? I actually have points in there. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Gabe, where are we going? Uh, I, I don't know what, the, what it's called. The, uh, South Coast Plaza. The South Coast Plaza. Why are we going there, Gabe? Uh, we're going to go make a sale, and then we're going to go pick up some gifts. No, 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 but why are we going there? Yeah, pick up some shoes, I guess. No, no, but why? I'm done. <laughs> Danny talked to him. Is there a, is there a cat Okay, let, let, me, let, let me know. Let me explain this further. Good. They gave a, a sneaker reservation. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, okay. for the okay. cool gray 11s and my boy Danny hit. Yep. That's like uh, his third time hitting on the sneaker reservation. Man, that That's is, crazy. Size 10 too, right? Uh, yeah. Size 10. Uh, they, and he flipped them right that. away. He flipped yep. them right away. The guy is literally going to meet us at Nike store. Yeah. He's going to watch that. Danny get his shoes for that he retail. won. Yeah. For retail. Yeah, and then hand them over to the guy for what? You said 320? Yeah. And he also waited until he didn't hit on sneakers. Yeah. The smart guy, you know. Smart man, man. Yeah. Very smart. He, like, secured, he basically secured his pair, like regardless, you know. True. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, he so. still got them, but he didn't got them for retail. Yeah. Hey, they're gonna go up, so. And I already know what how much these like sneaker boutiques are charging for them. So you got you got them for sure cheaper than like, most people. Most people yeah, so definitely. Yeah. What what's it called? Uh, I mean the the Jubilees were like that, where they had like a bunch of stock and whatnot. People were holding them, and they're going for like. A, not a lot of money, but yeah. Well, I mean, even, me, right? even the even the Jubilees, they ain't as OG as like a cool brand. Yeah, that yeah, is yeah. true. Like yeah, this is way different. Like, but I mean, I feel like the it'll be like the Concord pricing. I mean, that I mean, that's only the other eleven. I can think that's even more popular. Well, them are the brands, obviously. But. And then you already know they're dropping this year. And who knows when they're gonna that's drop what, again? Exactly. Like, uh, never. Do you think I'll run back Space Jam next winter? Uh, they, 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 well, they just they should have been this year with the movie. Like, yeah, they should have. Yeah. They need, they need a, in 2016. They need yeah. to come out with like another like Christmas pack. Like, you guys remember uh, like the, uh, the, the, the was it the Pantones? the Pantones and like yeah. the was it the 29s? I want to say yeah. yeah. Like that that yeah, was like sick. The, the I, I feel like we haven't had a like a Jordan pack like in a minute. Yeah, that's I want like, I want a pack. Packaging and shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, now you got no stocks. Man. Oh yeah, ain't gonna have it until, uh, Yeah, we ain't gonna have any more shoes summer, until like 2023. Yeah, summer. It's probably gonna just go into the whole year. To be yeah. It's because of Joe Biden, bro. <sighs> what do you want to tell Joe Byron right now? <laughs> Bing bong. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, you see these dogs in your yeah. front yard? So we're about to do this offer up sale. I'm actually a little nervous because uh, yeah. uh, this is my first sale since. The incident, the infamous scamming of Jumpman Dan. They got your boy, they got me. Alright. Once upon a time. So, this is how it went down. I'm, you know, haven't sold the shoe in a while, and I'm getting back into it because, you know, I was working for a while and, uh, you know, I didn't want to spend some money on shoes. Anyway, besides the point, making an offer up sale. Kind of you know getting trying to get my legs fresh so uh you know i'll kind of avoid the red flags i guess you would say and uh it was a new account and uh you know he only had one star i think he just made his account this month the, like like last month or something and uh yeah and then he wanted uh he, he wanted to buy my oreo fives for a 240 which is what i had him up for and then didn't haggle or nothing which is some you know, a little strange on offer up because on offer up they always haggle and they haggle like a motherfucker. Like they will lowball the fuck out of you. Which and this was a little strange, but you know, like I said, haven't sold in a minute. Wanted to make a sale. I wanted to do the sale, so I did it. Texted him, and then we meet up. I actually delivered it to him too, which is like you know, we like to do that. We like to say we always pull up, but uh, I think that's gonna have to. Uh, I think you guys are gonna have to start coming to us now. Thank, uh, just cause of that, you know, just to, to be safe, I guess, and. Uh, I have to start recording these fucking uh, meetups too. Start bringing some fucking extra manpower. But anyway, 
meet up and then uh some give him the shoes do the sale he wanted to go through zale which is you know usually fine i have zale but uh fucking you know he does it but like usually in zale sometimes when it's like a new recipient when you add a new person it fucking um it like uh it like takes a while it'll be pending you know because it's like it zale like you know i guess just wants to make sure you don't fucking send money to random people or nothing like that so like yeah that's what was happening it was pending and then, I don't know, like, I, I was like, oh, like, this is going to take a while, I already know. So I leave, and then fucking, you know, hours go by, money's still not in my account. But he's still texting me, he's still telling me, like, oh, yeah, you know, it's just it's just acting funny, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm going to get it to you, though, I'm going to get it to you, like, and then fucking whatever. Next day, he's like, oh, apparently, I guess uh, my bank account doesn't work no more, I have to get a new bank account. I was like, yo, what the fuck, like... I was like, damn, like, so that's probably what happened. He probably just, like, shut down. He probably knew his account wasn't going to last long or something. Or, like, you know, just wanted to make one last sale. One last fucking scam before he could, you know, his account was shut down. Anyway, yeah, so, fucking, yeah, that's, ba- that, that's basically, you know, what goes on. He just, you know, he just stays in contact with me for, like, the next day. And then out of nowhere, he just blocks me. And then, you know, I call him up, I call, and then he gives me, like, his mom's number that day. Because that day, when, like, when I made the sale, I was like, yo, like, I know this is going to be pending. This might take a while, so can you just give me your number? And then when he gives me a number, I thought it was his number. But when I call, the, the, the like, the woman fucking picks up the phone, a lady. Fucking, you know, I'm assuming it's his mom. I don't even know. Anyway, yeah. Fucking, the, like, she, she, she says hello. And I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, this is me. I just told you the shoes click. I'm like, wow. Like, that's when I knew. I was like, okay. Uh, I got done. They done got me. So, uh, yeah. That's basically it. Um, so, yeah, I guess what you guys could take away from this is uh, don't try to make a sale just for the sake of making a sale or making money, you know. Watch for the red flags and not watch for the red flags. Even though I knew the red flags, like I'm explaining to you. Always make sure that the account is like, you know, old, at least like a year old, honestly. Has some good reviews, you know, and, uh, you know, fucking has some sales. Maybe has a couple postings, who knows. Like, that's when you know, because that's when you know the account's active and like, you know. Because when that's how these scammers get you. They make new accounts and then fucking, you know, and they get somebody and then their account gets reported and then they have to make a newer account. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Do you guys have any other pointers? Any other tips, you guys? I know Gabe. Gabe's actually a veteran <laughs> in the offer up game. He's been in a. He, he hey, wants. Bro, he if wants. I, he wants took a flip phone to an iPhone six. I did. It was crazy. It was the craziest fucking bartering fucking <laughs> fucking scene of the fucking twenty of twenty fourteen, bro. It was crazy. It was wild. Yeah, like yeah, offer up's tricky. I feel like if you don't got an offer a page made in like at least fucking two thousand twelve, like it's a fake account. In my opinion. Yeah. I gotta clean the lens. Well, we're just doing audio, right? Oh, no, it was gonna be both. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. yeah, I mean, oh fuck. So you said, wait, so you said you did, you gave him, a, a, so once you shipped it, because you shipped it to him, obviously, right? No, I delivered it to him. Oh, you yeah. delivered it yeah, to yeah, him? Yeah, like I like, went. He met delivered. Him, yeah. So you delivered the shoe. Yeah. Damn. Oh, wait, where, where'd you deliver it to? It was like his, it was like his mom's job or something. It was like a fucking meat fucking sheet metal factory or something. Oh, like yeah, yeah. Or something? yeah. I was like, you could always pull up to the house. Yeah. Like, oh, shit. And yeah. then he gave me his, ad- he gave me like a bunch of different addresses. Like, yeah. He me, like, He's a he busy man. Me, like, yeah, he told me he was like, <laughs> stays in Moreno Valley and then I fucking, I was fucking bold. I threatened him. I was like, that address he gave me better be wrong because I'm pulling up. He's like, Haha, I don't fucking live there. And he gave me another address that was in Las Vegas and then fucking, I don't know, apparently he's in Arizona too. Like, yeah, I mean, I he could. I, I mean, Loki could be that mobile address. He probably just like sending like different ones. Yeah, but I mean, I then know. again, like I mean, shit. So uh, it was yeah. during Thanksgiving, so what I'm assuming he probably just came around. Yeah. And fucking Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah, yeah Scam somebody around here and then fucking dip. What area code was that uh, phone number? Do you remember? Uh, it was his mom's number. It was fucking 909. 909. Yeah. 909. Dang. Yeah, you gotta be tricky out here in the holiday no. season, man. Yeah, Gabe, yeah. you you you're a veteran to this game, I'm a you know. Hard like bat. you were the 
I know you would like walk from home to meet up with these people. Sometimes yeah, I used to have be, a meet up with you. Yeah, I used like, to how meet would up with like grown men at like twelve, to be honest. Yeah, yeah it's very yeah, odd. Yeah, uh, but you yeah, see these little funny, kid I, pull it's, up. It's funny. I never got scammed. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I guess you just gotta look for what. To, um, I don't think there was many scammers when the app first started, though. In my opinion, like just because like mm. you know. But I again, I always do. I always make sure I have payment. Like I never. I would never. I'm sorry. I would never trust you guys. Yeah. I, I, was, <laughs> I, I never was, I was too trusting. Like, yeah. It's because, like, it's, it's, I've had situations where, like, that's happened yeah. to me. And then it went, the guy came through, you know. Where, right, like, right. You know, he actually sent the payment. Yeah. So I was like, you know, I was just, I just assumed, you know, everyone was just, you know, yeah. cool, cool in this world. We were yeah. all just, like, looking at fucking, looking, looking out for each other, gave him a good deal. Maybe fucking yeah, see, give Danny, me a fucking money, you know. Yeah, see, Danny thought this was Metropolis, but yeah. in reality, this is Gotham City yeah. out here. <laughs> so <laughs> make sure yeah. you get payment. If I had to teach you anything, make sure you get what's, payment. First. What's the best payment? Uh, best option payment? or like? I yeah, mean, I what, like what, Zelle. If I'm being honest, just because you do get the money instantly. Uh, but like Danny was saying, it does do that thing where like it'll lag if you get like a new recipient. So I mean, in that case, I'd probably just say like. I mean, I mean, hiking it's cash, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, cash is king. Man. Cash is king, but also you got to verify those bills are real too. Uh, so make sure you know the signs uh, to fill a fake bill. If you for a uh, hundred, it's pretty easy. The, the the trick is on the on the blue strip, you get one, put some B roll, because I don't have a hundred on me. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I tell you this. Hey, yeah, Dan, give me that time. Do you want to explain it? Well, yeah, on the on the hundred dollar bills on the Benjamins, you know, the blue strip, if you move them back or how would I how would I just side to side side to side right there's these little bell looking things they move per uh, was it vertically when you move them side to side and then when you move it up and down they move uh, hor horizontally they move horizontally so I mean that's one way to check if that's a, a fake hundred dollar bill I know there's another one where you could like scratch the like shirt the shirt and if there's no like ridges on it, yeah, then that's, that's like an indicator that it could be fake. That works for the twenties and so, yeah, yeah, that works for the twenties and, all, bills. and like one of the most common ones is like you hold it up to like the I guess like the sky and see if there's like a you know, a little Benjamin head. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That that's another way. Yeah, I mean and like I guess like a safer way, I d I don't know, I've heard of the like the markers where you could just like you know, write on it, and then if it turns like, uh, yeah. I don't know what the color it's is, a but blacker. If it turns black or uh, like a dark brown, it's fake. Yeah. But if it's like a yellow to like a light brown, it's uh, it's real. But the market's tricky though, because as long as they get that type of paper, it will it'll do it. Like, it'll do the. Uh, oh, okay. So yeah. yeah so there's there's like, ways around like for a, these scammers. I've got like a fake at my job where like the, it passed the market test, but that shit came back fake. So uh, I, would, I would say the market's oh, but, a little hey, no, but. Now. I guess since we're on this point, like, like a safer way is just like do your transactions, do your transactions like at a fucking bank or something. Yeah, that 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 probably be the, I mean, the safer way. I mean, it might be a little bit extra, but just to be safe, you know, you don't want to go through what my boy Danny went. Yeah, through, like, I mean, but it was I would this was cash. Do that for like this. the big, uh, your big. If you're gonna sell something that's like five hundred dollars, four hundred dollars and up. Then yeah, go to go to the ATM and then just check your bills there. You know, just deposit into your account right away. You know, but, but again, do not give up property of product without payment. Yeah, yeah. that's the main thing. People are not people. Not the, nice. the, the guy you think is not gonna scam you is the scammer. Yeah, that's how they're good scammers. Like myself, I'm just <laughs> But now, like yeah. But. Nowadays, it's cool to be a scammer. That's what sucks. Like, if you're it's a true. scammer. These bitches will drop their fucking. People think we're scammers, bro. Yeah. Resellers, they think we're scammers. Yeah. I saw a thing. I saw a post uh, the other day where uh, it was like it was like a bunch of kids with a bunch of uh, with a bunch of Elevens. I was yeah. like, oh, this how it used to be. But it was like, bro, like, yo, daddy just bought that shit from a reseller, bro. You think yo, daddy hit? Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> nigga. <That's good. laughs> but nah, like, bro, they just bought it from somebody. Like, but you guys oh, want to talk about the, the Kanye direction? West and Drizzy? Oh, this concert. concert? Oh, oh yeah. that shit was. Hey man, my boy Kanye had to fucking uh, pull that shit on his back, bro. That motherfucker yeah. put up like, <laughs> motherfucker put a 55, 12, and eight, bro. That nigga right. move, bro. The vi who also the the fucking the cameraman who worked that shit or fucking director, the director? of the oh, fucking yeah. that motherfucker went in, bro. He dropped the hundred, yeah, fifty, and thirty. 
That shit look better than my fucking eyeball, bro. Like, I was like, fuck. Like, that shit look crazy. Bro, look like, goddamn. Have you seen Dune? Uh, that is what it looked like. This movie, Dune, that just came out. Uh, no, that is what that shit looked like. Dude. Dope as fuck, though. Like, this is Doom. I seen Doom. No, Doom. Not, uh, not, the, not, not with the rock. Yeah, like, I seen that one. Yeah. <laughs> or some shit. Yeah. But that shit went crazy. Um, uh, what do you call it? Fucking. Um, I like I like both what the about covers Drake's they did. Well, it's funny. I mean, I I like. I'm, I'm not I gonna lie. Actually, yeah, I liked it too. Cause like, I, I just did, cause uh, it was just basically he just play like C O B hits. Yeah, like, but, I like which them. I honestly was under the understand I when I first heard about the concert, I thought they were both just gonna do their new shit. Like I thought it was gonna be Donda uh-huh. and yeah, uh, yeah and C L B. But I guess Kanye West. Is- yeah, Kanye West put out the greatest hits. hits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was shit. But, I mean, stop, yeah, it like, probably would have been nice to see Drake's greatest hits too, but I thought it was pretty dope. Drake's cover of 24 was fucking godly. That shit was Nah, funny. yeah. That, and then I liked, uh, I also liked Kanye's cover of uh, uh, Finding Love. Oh, uh, yeah, that was, that was yeah, like that. Yeah, uh, and then the, the, for, the Forever at the end. Like, yeah, forever. forever. His a new outro on Runaway. When he's kind of just singing about Kim. Oh yeah, that shit was pretty dope. That shit looks bro. sad. Cause no, like, bro, it yeah. goes to tell you like these these people are just like people like yeah, like, bro. they go through yeah. like it's kind of like high school shit like yeah, like, like bro, Kanye West is out here heartbroken, bro. Yeah, that's fucking sad, bro. Like the man who can drop a fucking holy goddamn tank top and niggas will buy that shit for three hundred dollars, bro. <laughs> like, like bro, I goes to tell you, focus yeah. on yourself, fellas. Don't chase these ladies. Just they gonna leave you for no reason. Oh, like just yeah. like uh yeah, bro. You need you a queen in your life. Trust me, but it's all good. You gotta yeah. find the right one. Team Bachelors, Kev, yeah! yeah. <laughs> CLB boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was pretty dope. Uh, I mean, the memes and shit were pretty funny on the No, shit, yeah. But, like, I mean, the memes were funny. I mean, I personally didn't, yeah. I thought the performance was dope as shit. But yeah, the memes were pretty funny. They said they put this dude, Larry Hoover, to, <laughs> they sent him to Guantanamo Bay <laughs> because Drake didn't perform his <laughs> <laughs> because Drake performed way too sexy. <laughs> that shit uh, fucking murdered me. I seen they like got like the the picture of like his hoodie that says like free mandem. Yeah. Like this dude Drake just don't give a fuck. <laughs> like yeah. he just don't he don't want him free. Like <laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah, I seen that. They're like some Drake does not in fact want to free Larry. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but no. But overall, that was probably one of the cool. I wasn't even there, and I felt like I was there, bro. That was one of the coolest concerts I've ever fucking seen. Like. But what I don't understand is like how how was that gonna help Larry Hoover? Uh, get free exactly uh i don't really like, know does, does the money like, is that like gonna go to like it's legal i would assume because like, it is like a like it, it was technically like a like a non-profitable event right? yeah yeah so i would assume i mean those fucking i think it was seventy eight thousand and that got the marina and that merch i already know that got uh, the yeah. t-shirt was fucking 150 oh mm-hmm. uh, yeah if that like, that's right that shit was probably like 300 so but overall i mean it was pretty dope i mean i don't know if larry gonna get free but i mean yeah, that's pretty uh, cool. I thought I thought it was dope as shit. I mean, I think it was more so, more so just for the for the songs. That was uh, yeah, Larry yeah. Hoover. Yeah. But it was dope as fuck overall. I was I would honestly, if they would have put that shit in January, I look, he would have went. But you know, due to Christmas uh, bank accounts, that was not <laughs> yeah. that, that was not possible. And it was kind of like like last minute, like it was just yeah, like, bro. Didn't they confirm that thing like a week like, and a half? Yeah, like, I didn't even know it was yeah. happening this, yeah. until this man sent like the. Link to the oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I didn't know it was that day. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I knew there was gonna be like a fucking concert. Uh, uh, yeah. I seen that. I seen like I saw somebody like recorded Drake like like practicing twenty four, like when he's singing it. Yeah. And I seen that. I seen that like the uh, like a day or two before, and that's when I I thought I think the rumor on tw- I thought like they were gonna sing more of each other's songs. Like, yeah. Like, I thought they were gonna like like it was almost gonna be, gonna be like Drake like a, performing yeah. Kanye's. Kanye performing Drake's well, I mean, Loki would have been dope it, it as fuck. It was more about like I guess Larry Who, I guess, no? Not really. It was more about Kanye. Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> uh, honestly, I think this event was to put to get Kim back to Kanye. That's what this event was for. Yeah, and so it wasn't they had nothing to do with Larry Who. Nah, 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 <laughs> nah. Well, I know well, I think what it is is that dude Jay Prince. I know that dude is like fucking like from what I heard, like this man is like basically Suge Knight, like and that's the dude who basically brought out, uh, brought Drake out. Like, like he kind of like funded Drake, I guess you could say. Like. Oh, okay. But then like he he's also the one that when Drake when Kanye is in that video and he's like uh, or in that picture and like but he's like there's another video where he's like basically saying like oh like Drake like you know like he wants to be friends with Drake again and he wants him to like have a concert to support Larry Hoover. So I'm pretty sure it's more has to do with Jay Prince than fucking 
Kanye and uh, Drake uh, does, but like, yeah, because I know it was uh, him and the uh, Larry Hoover Jr. Right, that right, put it together, that put yeah. it together. So it was like it kind of makes sense. But I think that dude just kind of it seems like he mainly pulls the strings. So, but overall, it's pretty fucking cool. Honestly. Mm. But yeah, that shit was dope. I wish they do. I hope they do it again or some shit. Well, like a Maybe collab a, album. Yeah, that'd be dope. That, that, yeah, that even just a track, mix. like, come on. Like, yeah, that do that shit would do numbers, bro. Hell yeah. Like, or even if just fucking Connie just fully produces a Drake album, bro. That should be ill too, bro. Uh, but yeah, what? Well, uh, but yeah, that's just crazy. You know what's crazy? When uh, Kanye performed "Find Your Love," I could, it kind of felt like, like, it kind of felt like Kanye wrote that song. Like you, like when he like performed it, it felt like it was his. Like I think he did co-write it. Yeah, right. Like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. Well, I know he produced it, but I believe he did like. He was like in the uh, yeah, because I know because like, he he co- I believe he co-produced the entire Thank Me Later. Like, oh really? Uh, uh, yeah. So that's why there's always like that thing when they'll be like, oh like uh, when they were like, I honestly really don't think they were even ever actually beefing in my personal opinion. But like them niggas, uh, I think was, <laughs> that, I think I think they just know how. To, I think Kanye is a god when it comes to PR stuff. Like like he just knows how to get people people moving. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think he knows how to get people people going and be between two of the biggest artists of all time like and then their album both albums did numbers yeah um, you know what I'm saying I think I didn't really, I'm not a big fan of Donda but that's, that's crazy Donda bro Donda, Donda. I don't know, man. bro if Donda was this life changing album that it everybody is. makes it seem to be it is, he would have performed it and he, he got no what he, how many songs did he perform like about? three or four so why did he go into the greatest hits bag though because he's Kanye. But, he but, the okay, but why, why did Drake do CLB, though? Why did Drake fully do CLB? Because CLB was heat. There's only one reason, like, you have to pull out your greatest hits because Donna was sleep. Nah, hell no, nah, bro. Nah, nah. I think Donda. What's your top five songs? Longevity. In Donda? Or? Yeah. yeah, Donda. Shit. Um, I'd say Off the Grid, easily number one. Okay. Uh, Junior. Junior. Uh, Junior. Junior. Yeah, Jonah? Junior. No, 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 Junior. Just junior. 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 Oh. junior. Yeah. I don't know. Jonah's, Jonah's actually sick too, but. Yeah. Hold up. Hold up, wait a minute. Let me put some cushion in it. Hurricane? <laughs> Her- oh, yeah. Hurricane sick. Um, what else is there? Bro, the whole fucking album. Okay. Nah, it's not. It's not, though. It's really nice. Like, no, I, I, I like track. COB too. Like, no, I, no, it has some tracks. One thing I would say, I think it's too fucking long. What is it, 27 tracks? Yeah, but like uh, some of the songs are like super now. short. Like some of the songs are like a minute it, long. What, there's an extended? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. I never heard it. I didn't really know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Really? All right, guys, we successfully got the Cool Grays. Kevin. Package. Yeah, they gave Danny this cool ass tote bag. That we yeah, uh, but that's the first 20 people that went to pick up the shoes. And it was like a Nike thing only, like, like. Full Locker and all the other bum ass stores didn't get them. We didn't get them, but like, yeah, it was like Danny very Co- high quality too. Like when they said free, I was like, oh, it's probably gonna be just be like, yeah, and then a little, little like shitty tote bag. But nah, yeah. this is very nice quality. Definitely gonna be using this. Um, yeah. But uh, like Gabe was saying, or did, did you mention that uh, the, I guess the the deal didn't go through? Didn't end up oh, coming. I didn't mention it yet. Nah. Yeah, the buyer didn't come, or he was there apparently. I don't know. He just when I said like I got the shoes, he just didn't reply no more. So, I don't know. Maybe it was another scammer. That's what these guys are telling me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's possible that maybe he's got hung up, but, you know, or he maybe he thought he didn't hit, then he hit. Yeah, <laughs> he, no, he probably his... just found, like, a, I don't know, maybe another. Could have. Uh, I mean, you didn't give him that bad of it. No, like, yeah. It? Yeah, 320. See, 320, yeah. I mean, on the same day of release, in hand, like, bro. You really can't beat that. Yeah, you can't really beat that. But, um, I kind of, we kind of already showed you, but, yeah, man, so, fucking uh, heat. So now I got the question: Do I keep them? Do I sell them? What do I do? What do I do? I mean, um, like, cause uh, I already know if I sell them, I'm not gonna get them back. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna, I'm not gonna spend myself, you know, cause they're gonna go up. I'm not gonna spend three fifty for them, you know. That's what these stores are selling them for. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. That's a good point. Honestly. So yeah, I, I can't. Um, it's either keep or keep or sell. And hey, I full made it to the Western Conference Finals. Where? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's, it's a license plate that says WC. 349 times. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Brown who? <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, honestly, 
to answer Danny's question, I'm a, I would tell him to keep. To be honest, it's just too hard of a fucking shoe. Kevin? Yeah, I mean, unless you want to wear a size 11, I got a size 11 coming on the way. <laughs> nah. I mean, I could just do the hard hold and then just like literally keep them in ice for a year. Because I, I don't want to wear them right now anyway, because I already know everyone that got them is going to wear them right now. And I, you know, I don't want to be, you know, I want to be, I don't want to wear what everyone else is wearing, you know. Because it's like, it's going to be the, it's like the obvious thing. It's like, it always happens too on these releases. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to just hold them, keep them in ice for a year, and, and then make my mind, you know. Makes sense. Bro, talk about like hard hold. This fucking shoe right here. Bro. <laughs> oh, fucking I, I, I think I, I learned my you lesson. You want to mention it? It's, I a, learned it's my... a podcast, so you should probably like tell them what shoe you want oh, to let them know. Sorry, it's the Shadow 2.0. Uh, we got this for resale at two, what, 230? What 250. Was it? 250? Yeah. 250? Damn, I think that's where they're going for right now. But at the beginning, when they first came out, they were freaking dog. Water. They were almost going for like retail price Basically, or below yeah. retail. Dog. Water. So, I mean, point, yeah. like more of the story, always hold one because they will go up in value. And I mean, I'm not. I'm not, cr- uh, I'm not that freaking. I guess sad or I don't know what the word to say it, but I'm not that sad that I kept these. You know. Yeah, you like those, huh? Yeah, no, I like these. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the Shadow 1.0 is your favorite that's, shoe. That's huh? that is my favorite shoe. Yeah, it's really All right, battery died, but that was pretty much it for today. Yeah. Uh, we successfully got the pair, Danny's pair, but we didn't successfully do the transaction. And I'm the guy not, pulled uh, out. I'm not mad yeah. at all because, like, it is a cool gray 11. And, and now, he's probably going to keep it. Yeah, I could just, like, look at it more and, like, sniff it more. And <laughs> but the more that. you look at this, he's going to keep yeah. it. There's no way. <laughs> no, I think, I think I'm just going to do that hard hold for a year and then, and then make my mind. Sure. Cause, uh, yeah, because the the prices, you know, it is a million pairs. So like, you know, yeah. if I, if I hold for a year, Allegedly. they'll definitely go up. You know, allegedly, my ass is gonna get that million pair. So yeah, so yeah, this was a little a little different, guys. A little little podcast in the car while we were, you know, on the road. You know, it's it's very hard on for us to all all get together at the same time. So I guess this, this, we'll probably be doing doing this more often, honestly, because it's very convenient. Like, just on the road instead of just like being in the room you know we do two things at once right here you know all right and that's it for us today boys until danny crashes we out yeah! <laughs>